We're the only girls club here in New York City. We don't allow cliques, we don't allow bullying. Every girl is your neighbor, every girl is your sister, and we take care of each other. This is really girls heaven. I mean, this is the most amazing place. They have everything to kind of spark excitement about learning about STEAM professions. Your whole plan for this project is that you're going to have to use technology that you have learned in the classroom to decrease pollution in the environment. Now at the Girls Club, we've been able to kind of take our model and bring it to an all-girl environment. And that, that, that dynamic has just simply been amazing. It's all girls. So like, they understand what's going on right now in your life. Here you, you get to be yourself and then you get to be unique. You get to choose what you want to be when you grow up and your career. These girls are particularly fierce. They already want to be doctors, lawyers, singers, dancers, actresses. So to add on engineer, architect, city planner, things that could be a concrete goal for them so that they are part of you know, the living, breathing city is incredibly useful and important for them. Starting today, you are going to build out your model city. So the base is very simple. It's a city block. You have to build it up and you have to build it out. The only requirement for this project, aside from ensuring that you're creating technology that decreases pollution in the environment, is that one of your buildings must have a green roof. The mission of STEAM is to expose young people, grand scale, to the STEAM professions. It's really important to get young women and girls involved in this path at a really early age because if they're not exposed to it, they don't know that these careers exist. Before coming here, I hadn't ever really taken engineering classes, but I'm really interested in it and I think that having like prior experience in it would be a really big advantage, so I am trying to get into a high school that has a good STEM program already. We figured that it was a good idea to kind of bring the whole approach to the girls club where they can start working on a project from beginning to end and see the end result at the conclusion of the day. When they get to work in teams in kind of a low stakes situation where they get to have fun and they have adult support to be creative and to think of creative problem solving, it only benefits their future education. We bought a panel of women architects, engineers, and construction managers from DDC to come speak to the girls about what they do on a daily basis and how they got into it. You're able to kind of impact them and get them curious about what's possible. There's a huge difference between the kid who has a professional parent and the kid who doesn't in terms of their exposure. And we're trying to bridge that gap. I hate to see this program end. It has been so fabulous. I don't think there is a better career for women right now in these times if you live in a city, then to be an engineer or an architect. We're going to see if all the work that we've put into making our cities permeable, and I think that the green roofs that we have are going to work. It's absorbing. Oh my, that is a legit green roof. If you can explain it, then everyone's going to respect your opinion. The DDC engineering program has been really fun. Through programs like the DDC and taking these classes kind of demystifies the, the city so that they feel like they can be more a part of it. The resources that we're bringing to them really, really can make a difference in their lives. 